What's up guys? Today we're gonna make my profiterole recipe. It is also called a cream puff, or as the French call it, a chou, which means cabbage. But chou is also a term of endearment. Bonjour, mon petit chou. This recipe has three levels, depending on how far you want to go. Level one, your plain cream puff. This is just your plain pastry, no filling, no topping. Level two is a stuffed cream puff filled with delicious whipped cream. And level three, wow wow wee wow cream puff topped with a delicious chocolate ganache. I hope you go with me all the way because come on, you deserve it, you're good enough, and I believe in you. These are the ingredients you'll need. For your level one plain cream puff, you'll need 250 ml or one cup of water, 120 grams or half a cup of butter, one teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, 250 grams or one cup of all-purpose flour, four eggs, and half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. For your level two stuffed cream puff, you'll need 650 ml or two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of powdered sugar, and again, half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And for your level three wah wah wee wah cream puff, you'll need 250 ml or one cup of heavy whipping cream, and 250 grams or one cup of semi-sweet chocolate. As for your tools, for level one, you'll need a medium saucepan, a measuring cup, a mix bowl, an electric mixer, a baking tray with parchment paper, and a piping bag. For level two, you'll need a mixing bowl, an electric mixer, and a piping bag with a piping bag top. And as for your tools for level three, oh man, you're gonna need a medium saucepan. Ready? Here we go. Turn your oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna make your cream puff batter or pâte à choux. Put your saucepan on medium high heat. Add your water, butter, sugar, and salt. Stir the mixture a few times until it all melts together. Once you notice it's starting to simmer, add in your flour and stir. The dough is going to gather in a ball, which is what you want. Keep stirring and let it cook for at least five minutes or until a layer of film starts forming at the bottom of your pan. Remove the pan from the heat. Put your mixture in a mixing bowl. Add the eggs in one at a time and mix each one until it is fully incorporated before adding the next one. Add a little bit of vanilla essence. Mix everything together until it forms a smooth and stretchy kind of dough. Get all the mixture in there, scrape down the sides of the bowl, and stir it a few times to make sure the whole mixture is well incorporated. Now it's time to put the mixture in a piping bag. Now it can be tricky to fill a piping bag, so what I do is I put it in a glass, and that makes it easier for me to put the filling inside the piping bag. Once you've filled your piping bag, cut off the tip. Now it's time to pipe the mixture onto your baking tray. You want about an inch, inch and a half size for each dollop. Leave a bit of space between each cream puff. Once you're done piping, pat down the pointy tips of each cream puff with a wet finger. This will give them a nicer shape when they bake in the oven. I know, some of them look like a cheap wizard's hat, but trust me, they'll be beautiful. Gently place your baking tray into the oven and let the cream puffs bake for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, you know what's up, do the dishes. After about 30 minutes, it's time to check on your cream puffs. What you want is that they're puffy, golden brown, hollow, and light. If they're still blonde in color, let them bake a little longer. If you're happy, take the tray out of the oven and turn the oven off. Place the cream puffs aside and let them cool down. And boom! You completed level one! You made a plain cream puff! Even the old wizardy hats turned out okay. Some people like to cut these in half and fill them with ice cream or whipped cream. That's the easy way out. Come on, you wanna go to level two, you know it, let's do this. Put your mixing bowl in the freezer for a few minutes to chill. In the meantime, we're going to cut some little holes at the bottom of your cream puffs. Take a knife and pierce a little hole at the bottom of each cream puff. This is how we're gonna put the cream inside the cream puff. It'll be a surprise, no one will know how we did it without cutting them in half. Take out your chilled mixing bowl from the freezer. Add in your whipped cream, add your powdered sugar, and your vanilla essence. Mix the whole thing together until it forms stiff peaks. Don't over whip it, you don't want it to turn to butter. Once your whipped cream has formed some nice stiff peaks, it's time to put it in a piping bag. To make it easier to fill these cream puffs, we're gonna use a piping bag top. Place the top of the piping bag inside the bag. Fill your piping bag with whipped cream. Then cut off the tip of your piping bag. Now it's time to stuff these babies with whipped cream. Pipe the whipped cream through the hole you pierced under each cream puff. Try to fill it up as much as possible. Now this is the hardest part of the recipe, but you can do this. You'll feel it expand, and sometimes you'll see the cream explode out of the cream puff. This is gonna get messy, but we want these babies to be filled to the top. Use a paper towel to make each cream puff look as beautiful as possible. And ta-da! You've completed level two! You made a stuffed cream puff with delicious whipped cream. 
but come on, we want to go to level three. We want to make the wah wah wee wah cream puff. Let's make this chocolate ganache. Place your saucepan on medium high heat. Add in your whipped cream. Let it come to a simmer. Don't let it boil or be too hot for your chocolate and it will split. Once you notice the cream simmering on the edges, add in your chocolate and turn off the heat. Wait a minute or two for the chocolate and whipped cream to get to know one another. Then gently stir the whole mixture together. You'll notice it'll form a silky chocolate texture, which is exactly what you want. Once you're happy, it's time to go. While the ganache is still warm, gently pour it on top of each of the cream puffs. Look at that glistening chocolate peak on top of those beautiful beautiful golden brown cream mountains. Sorry, I just chocolate makes me excited. You're almost there. Put your wah wah wee wah cream puffs in the fridge so the chocolate ganache sets. Once you're ready, take them out of the fridge and place your cream puffs on a beautiful dessert plate. And boom, you did it! Level three accomplished! You made my profiterole recipe. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Serve these babies cold for the best flavor and I guarantee they'll blow everybody away at any party. Next time you can see if you wanna make them bigger or smaller, sweeter, saltier, whatever you want until it's perfect for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Baking with Samba.